What is up y'all, this is Alex from Alex PC Tech again back at you with another video and today I just want to share with you guys Project Eva. This is the first video of this case mod project that I have. By the way, this is a personal project for my personal build and this is on an old Corsair 760T. So if you recall uh, Corsair 760T is an old case it's from 2015 and yeah so I'm just gonna fast forward through the video and check with you guys what am I doing from time to time and yeah enjoy the video so the first part is this is when I removed all of the PC components and now I'm proceeding with removing the fan, the filters and now the front side of the fan. Sorry that it is very dirty so we'll be removing those front fans. So these are not RGB fans. These are two red fans, so a total of three because I have one. The rear fan is also a red Corsair case fan. So now that we have removed most of the fans of the front, we're going to remove the drive base. This is the 5.25 drive inch base. 5.25 inch drive inch or 5.25 inch drive base. Removing the rubber grommets of the cable ways then finally there's a hinge where the front plastic the front facing plastic is in so yeah so here is where i remove that final piece So for the standoffs, I used some pliers to spin them off because they are so tight. Although you need to be careful with this process as you might scratch your case. As you can see, my pliers have a masking tape to not scratch the case. Although we're going to paint it afterwards. so. If you're not gonna paint your case then probably it's best to have that mod or mod out your pliers to have a masking tape on the edge so after that we proceeded with removing the screws from the case so here is the front screws for the front panel connectors the power switch And then here we have the screws for the hinges so this is the door hinges so I really like this design of the scissor doors for this case what I don't like is the one from NZXT the one where you remove the panel entirely but it's fine I just prefer this more
So it's important to group your screws properly and to put them in an organized manner. So next is what I want to remove is the feet. So in case you are wondering here, these are yes, double-sided tapes that I sticked on the bottom for them to for to level the case because some of the rubber uh, rubber footings has been removed from this case. So we also have to remove those. So I'm gonna be removing the rubber feet, the anti-slip rubber on the bottom, as well as these. Next is I want to remove the screws for the bottom filter. So this is a sliding mechanism for the bottom filter. So I forgot to bring a mat, <laughs> I forgot to put it in a mat so that I won't scratch the granite, however this is, for me the tabletop is fine. So for extra protection, I use this yoga mat. Now I proceeded with removing all of the screws for the front panel connector so that I can remove it properly. Yeah, so it finally came off. So this is an entire module itself. So after that, it's drill time. Yeah, so here we have to remove the... Rivets. Okay, so there are a lot of rivets for this case. But primarily what I want to do in this mod is just remove the front rivets so that I will be able to remove the front panel connectors okay so as you can see here every corner has a lot of rivets like one two three four five six to seven rivets so I used a drill in order to remove those rivets so this is a three size three drill bit okay so this is a noisy task guys so you you should be able to have the house free for yourself as this is very noisy and also safety first as always guys as you can see I'm using a face mask in order to have those residue or something in case something goes flying it won't hit my eyes especially my eyes or my face and you can actually use safety gear as well like gloves in this case guys so try at your own risk and remember safety first always when handling these power tools so even the base has a lot of rivets
So the main problem that I was having here was the rivets were not being removed and they were being eaten or going inside the drill. So I have to remove them one by one from the drill bit in order to continue drilling. Sorry for my arm. So here there was a plastic part of the front panel module that I can only remove if I'll be able to loosen up some of the rivets. However, when putting it back, I was able to put it back after I've done the riveting. So there are some metal residues that were left on the holes. That's why everything wasn't going out or being disassembled. So I have to rivet all the way there. Sorry for the autofocus guys. It keeps on autofocusing on my arm, but I wanted to show you guys how I was doing it. So finally it came off just like that. So this is the front panel of the Corsair 760T. Now the next, the next task is to remove this drive bay, the drive base. So uh, this is very outdated and I don't have anything to put here. I'm not planning to. So I want to remove this entire drive bay and or without like hurting the structural integrity of the case. So rivets are again or were used in connecting those so we have to drill them again in order to remove that bay properly challenge that I have here now is that my drill bit snapped okay so as you can see here it snapped however I was able to use the smaller bit just for this one exactly for the sole purpose of this one however you have to be really careful and guys always say always safety first okay when handling power tools such as this one So finally, I was able to manually do it by getting a screwdriver and just forcing it out of the way. So here, on this part, this is quite the challenge, okay guys? So since I did not have a Dremel, I didn't have a Dremel, I have to do 
this thing where I fold the metal again and again in order to snap it off of this casing so the challenge here is first is properly folding it in order to have the reference like the reference fold and do it again and again so that we can remove it guys this is not the proper way to do it guys if you if you have a dremel it will be easier however in my case i don't have a dremel oh i tried sawing it but it wasn't working <laughs> i have a metal hand saw that i use for the piping and it wasn't working so this is the method that i used in order to remove this Again, if you have a Dremel, it would have been easier, guys, but I don't have one, and as for this project, that would be very expensive, so I have to do this like the manual way, by wiggling the part off as this metal easily snaps off. Tuck, 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 tuck. <laughs> see some of the metal has already snapped off however have to again snap it like that So after I have removed the rest, I need to chip off some of the remaining sharp ends or more ends with the pliers. So yeah, I have to clean it off with the pliers. So now this is the front plastic module that I wanted to remove. Yeah, so that's the one. Now, here in this area, guys, of the case, I removed this because I used to have a vertical bracket and it wasn't fitting this one. So I had to, again, remove the excess metal from this side of the case and then file it properly. So, as you saw, I had a metal file and I did the filing. So 
So guys, this would have been easier if I had a Dremel. However, I didn't have one and that's that will put my cost for this project way too high. So if you want to support this channel, just please kindly like and subscribe and don't skip the ads. Yeah, so that we can buy ourselves a Dremel for our next project. But for now, this will do as we're going to be filing this properly in order to remove those sharp ends and also have it like have an even surface So now we have the metal file over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna file it down. I have a an inch. I think this is one inch, but there are several sizes of this one. So you can do this. You can file the metal ends. So this is the same procedure that we're gonna be doing on the front panel to remove those sharp edges. And yeah. It might, it's gonna be, it's gonna take long to be honest because you have to smoothen it out, even it out everything, and you know. So now we're gonna move to the front side. Remember, we're gonna file this, but first we need to chip off the extra sharp ends slowly using some pliers. This is actually easy as the metal of this easily chunks when you like move them as I was doing see this one so it would easily tear off in little chinks so if you have a Dremel this would be easier and more cleaner however we don't have so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove those chinks by the hand saw or the hand file the sharp ends So as you can see, it's a little bit cleaner now compared as to before. So now we're gonna start little by little. So this will be the long part 
me doing this hand filing down to smoothen it up and guys that's it for this video thank you for watching and see you on part two of this case mod as we're gonna doing the conceptualization and the painting so stick around and see you on the next video take care guys